stand on top of their heads. They also have an upward facing mouth and a large head. Stun Fist also has eyes on top of his head, and he has an upward facing mouth. Both live in the water, and they look eerily similar. However, Stun Fist is much cuter than the Stargazer fish. Number two, Rubbish. Rubbish and a tied up bag of rubbish look very similar. While a bag of rubbish doesn't have a face, the top of his head resembles the bag when it's tied up. This may be a metaphorical match, however, they really do look alike. Number three, Sand Slash. A pangolin is a scaly anteater that lives in Africa. They have large protective scales which cover their skin. This covering protects them from predators. They also have long, sharp claws, which help them climb trees and kill their prey. Sand Slash is a very similar looking Pokemon. He has the same protective skin, the same claws, and both are relatively cute. Number four, Crocodile. A gharial closely resembles a crocodile. The body is the same, however, the snout is different. A crocodile has a wide snout, and a gharial has a long, Crocodile looks very similar to the Gario. He has the same long tail, the same body, and even the same long, thin snout. The two are also very mean. Number five, Chatot. Chatot looks identical to the yellow collared lovebird, except the real bird's head is not shaped like a music gun. Other than that, the similarities are uncanny. They have the same shaped beak, the same eyes, and they even have the same colors. Playing Pokemon Go, make sure that you are really about to catch a Chatot and not a yellow colored lovebird. Number six, Mudkip. The axolotl is also known as the Mexican salamander or the Mexican walking fish. It's not a fish, however, it's actually an amphibian. It can be found in the freshwater lakes of Mexico. Mudkip looks a lot like it. They both have goofy eyes, strange little hands, and strange appendages coming out the top of their heads. Also, they're both really cute. Number seven, Mawile. Mawile is a very strange looking Pokemon. He has a typical Pokemon face, body, arms, and legs. His head, however, is a different story. There are two alligator-shaped heads that come out of Mawile's head. There's a Japanese myth that says when a woman goes on a diet and she hasn't eaten enough food, the second mouth would form at the back of her head, which would require her to consume twice the amount of food of a normal person. This cautionary tale sounds just like Mawai. Number eight, Sneasel. There's a Japanese legend about three sneaky weasels. Put the words together and you get to Sneasel called Kamiyachi. According to the legend, in the blink of an eye, one weasel trips you, one uses his razor-sharp talons to cut the flesh of your legs, and the other weasel quickly mends your wounds so they're not even visible. It all happens so fast that you believe you just fell. Nobody knows what the Kamiyachi look like because they're so fast and have never been seen. However, Sneasel is clearly based on these mischievous characters. Number 9. Gorobus. All of these sensory nerve endings on the long-nosed Chimera are located on his long nose. They use their long nose to find food in small fish. This fish looks just like Gorobus. They have a long snout and have innocent looking eyes. While they are different colors, their bodies are similar. They both have a fin near the top of their heads and two fins on the side for swimming. The Gorobus is adorable and the long-nosed Chimera looks pretty scary. Number 10. Shellos. The Chromodorus Loki is a colorful sea slug who is part of a marine gastropod mollusk. If you look at Shellos, the two are very similar. Shellos has a mollusk-shaped body, they have large antenna on top of their heads, and they even have similar markings. Number 11, Arbok. The Dismus indica snake is a beautiful purple color. They're found in tropical South America from the Amazon basin to Bolivia and northern Argentina. Echons is a snake-like Pokemon who is also a brilliant purple color. The two have bright red and yellow colors under their heads in their inner neck area. These two are so close in appearance that it's difficult to tell them apart. Number 12, Manaphy. Manaphy is a legendary Pokemon and is considered a graceful guardian of the ocean. Manaphy is a very 
very pleasant Pokemon, and so is its real-life counterpart, the Sea Angel. The fish uses its wing-like appendages to swim around the ocean, the same way that the Manaphy does. The two have similar shapes, but it's their swimming method and their personalities that make them so similar. Number 13, Zigzagoon. This is an example of one of the most adorable Pokemon that actually exists in real life. The Zigagoon is a relatively annoying Pokemon that many people believe are based on the raccoon. If you look closely, the Zigagoon looks more like the raccoon dog. The dog resembles a raccoon and is considered to be one of the most primitive species of dog that are still around. In Japan, the raccoon dog is called the Tanuki. Both the Pokemon and the real-life version of this animal are absolutely adorable. However, if you were to ever come upon one, you might need to be careful. Subscribe for more! Drowsy Drowsy is a mysterious-looking Pokemon who is inspired by Baku. The name Baku has two meanings in Japanese. The first is a Malaysian tapir, which is a vegetarian pig. The other meaning is a mythical Japanese creature that enters a person's dreams and nightmares. He may look scary, but he's actually very kind. He has, however, helped put others to sleep from time to time. Number two, Pikachu. Pikachu is one of the most recognized of all the Pokemon, and he's also the cutest. He is an electric-type mouse and is considered to be the Pokemon mascot. The inspiration of Pikachu comes from a mouse-like creature called a Pika Mouse. They're found in the remote mountain regions in Asia. There are actually 23 species of this mouse, and most are found in China and Tibet. This animal is very rare. There are only about 1,000 Pika mice in the world. They make a very high-pitched sound, just like a Pikachu does. One is as equally adorable as the other. Number 6. Magikarp The Magikarp is a water Pokemon. In order to transform Magikarp into something that is useful, you would need to catch thousands. He's interesting in his current form. Magikarp is inspired by the yellow rockfish. The two actually look identical to one another. The only difference between the two is that the yellow rockfish can do much more damage than the Magikarp. Number 4. Emolga Emolga is one of the most adorable Pokemon right next to Pikachu. He is a flying, electric Pokemon. Also, he doesn't evolve. He gets his inspiration from the Flying Squirrel. Both the Flying Squirrel and Emolga can glide thanks to the membranes between their arms and legs. Emolga, however, is always battle-ready, as he can store electricity in his membranes. He's also known to make adorable puppy dog eyes to soften the hearts of his opponents, the same way that Puss in Boots does in the movie Shrek. Number 5. Hollywag. This is a perfect example of Pokemon that actually exists in real life. Poliwag is a water-type tadpole. It's inspired by the translucent polywog with proposed cuts in the head that resemble the swirly lines of the translucent polywog. Poliwag is much cuter than the real-life translucent polywog. The two are very similar, and they both have a similar personality. Number 6. Caterpie Caterpie is one of the most common Pokemon around, and he was one of Ash's first catches. Just by looking at Caterpie, you can tell that his inspiration came from the Caterpillar. The specific type that gave the Pokemon creators their inspiration for Caterpie is the Easter Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar. Most Pokemon who are inspired by an actual plant or creature have a few similarities. This is not the case with the Caterpie. The resemblance is so close that it looks like someone went outside, found an Easter Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar, and plugged it right into the game. Number 7. Venusaur Venusaur has red eyes, and his distinct feature is a massive flower growing out the top of his head. The flower on his head is said to be so heavy that the Pokémon has trouble supporting itself. This Pokémon got his inspiration from the Rafusa Arnoldi, which is the largest flower in the world. It is most commonly found in the rainforests of Indonesia. The flower can grow up to 3 feet across and weigh up to 15 pounds. Unlike most flowers, this one does not smell good. It actually smells like rotting meat. Number 8. The Victory Bell 
This is a very scary Pokemon. Its inspiration is also very scary. The Victory Bell is based on the Pitcher Plant. The Pitcher Plant is carnivorous and very dangerous. This plant contains a fluid which attracts insects into the plant, where they are then trapped. The plant will absorb the nutrients from the body of the insects for their own nourishment. While Victory Bell is not quite as dangerous as the Pitcher Plant, it is pretty close. It has a very high attack level with a lower defense level. This makes them angry and always on watch. The good thing about Victory Bell is that he has a normal happiness level. Therefore, he only needs to be feared when he feels threatened or when he senses an attack. Number 9. Love Disc Love Disc is a water Pokemon who is shaped like a heart. She is based on the Kissing Galami, which is an adorable fish that puckers up as though he's getting ready to give a kiss. When the fish kisses, it's not doing so to be loving and cute. It actually makes that face when it's biting. The Love Disc is not quite as mean as his counterpart, though. Just by looking at him, you know that he's one of the most lovable Pokemon. But if challenged, he certainly can defend himself. Number 10. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is a dual type of Pokemon. He is a grass 